this is Michael Buckheiser, and this is just four clicks with the live, raw, and uncut sports talk here on this beautiful Tuesday morning. It is 7 a.m. here on the East Coast, and uh, hopefully you guys are listening to me on SportsChannelTalk.com. And if you are not, join us over there. Go ahead and jump in on the iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio as well. You can see my beautiful face over there on YouTube at the RTF Productions YouTube page. But guys, last night, Monday night, Monday afternoon, the Dallas Cowboys finally hired their man. They hired Mr. Mike McCarty, ex-Green Bay Packers coach, fired last season for uh, basically... uh, him, they basically just weren't getting along. Him and Aaron Rodgers were just were not getting along. Let's let's cut to the case. Let's cut out all the fat. Aaron Rodgers did not like the way the West Coast offense was going underneath Mike McCarty. It's simple as that. It is what it is. But is this a sexy pick? I mean, I guess so. I mean, Mike McCarty is a big name in the NFL. He did lead. Uh, the Packers to many, many playoff bursts. I believe it was like 10, 10 times out of his 13 years. Great. Awesome for him. But the West Coast offense does not fit the Dallas Cowboys roster. Look at this. You have a power back in Ezekiel Elliott you just paid $80 million for. What are you thinking? The West Coast offense does not use a power back. They don't. They simply just do not use them. You need good wide receivers. Think about this. When the Packers were at their prime, they had two big-time threats over there. They had Randall Cobb. They had Jordy Nelson, a deep threat. My man, Jay Dog over there, from the Kansas State. Played against him in high school. Fun fact. But... Look at this receiving core that the Dallas Cowboys currently have. They have Amari Cooper. Okay. Where is he at all season? He is great when Ezekiel Elliott is running the ball and they're not double covering him. He is pretty damn good. But you know what? They double teed Amari Cooper all season because they were not feeding Zeke. They do have uh, uh, Randall Cobb now. Okay. He's pretty damn good when he gets the ball. When did he get the ball? I had him on my fantasy team, and he didn't do me shit. It's simple as that. The Cowboys did not utilize their weapons at all last year. Was it the coaching staff? Maybe, you know. Or is it the fact that Zeke Elliott did not show up to training camp, and he was in shape all year? It was the uh, what was it? it was the Philadelphia Eagle game. The Dallas Cowboys win that game. They go to the playoffs. Do they get beat? Do, do, do they get beat, beat by the Seahawks? Possibility, but they're in the playoffs. They have their quarterback, Des- Dak Prescott, injured shoulder, did not practice all week. Well, he practiced limited, limited all week. You have a quote power tailback in Zeke Elliott. You just paid eighty million dollars. He touches the ball thirteen times in that game. Thirteen times. Dallas Cowboys fans, get used to that because that's what Mike McCarty does. He wants to throw the ball all over the field, get receivers open, and uh, basically not use your tailback ever. Think about who they used to have up there. They used to have Eddie Lacy up like up there. He had a couple good season, a power back. Not useful in Green Bay. Kind of wasted away up there for five for five or six years. I think he went to what was it, the Chargers maybe, or, the, or like or like or the Rams. He was fat and, and like out of shape. Didn't didn't do squat. They had uh, Ty Montgomery. Uh, he's okay. He's not the power back that that that, that, that like like Zeke is. If the Mike McCarty is going to run his West Coast offense at Dallas Cowboys, they got to get rid of Zeke Elliott. As simple as that. They got to get rid of rid of Zeke if they want to be successful next season. Trade him. Get Kareem Hunt from the Dallas or from the Cleveland Browns. Chubb from the uh, Cleveland Browns. They have to get somebody else. They have to get a two-back set. Kareem Hunt would be fantastic in Dallas Cowboys. 
Zeke Elliott is not the answer for this West Coast Conference. He's he is a guy that needs to touch the ball 25 times a game. He has to touch the ball 25 times a game. Mike McCarty is not in his office, and that's just that is not going to happen. So, if that's not going to happen, they're going to double team Amari Cooper again. Uh, Randall Cobb is not going to get the ball anywhere. Or just, oh, then we got Michael Gallup. What did he do all season? He had a great, what, three games? Awesome three games. Because they were giving Zeke the ball. Uh, I forget who the backup quarterback or the backup running back is right now off the top top of my head. They were giving him, they were giving him like hand the ball. They were double teaming like Amari Cooper, so Gallup was open. Then he started dropping the ball. Then he couldn't get open. Then he was slow. <laughs> Guys, Dallas Cowboys fans, Mike McCarty may have been a, quote, sexy pick for you guys. There's other valuable options. There's better options out there. I'm not saying Leakland O'Reilly was the answer. I'm not saying uh, Marvin Lewis from the old Cincinnati's uh, Bengals coach was the answer. I'm not saying Wade Phillips was the answer. Uh, who else did they, did they interview? Um, I, I saw a big sheet of all the people. They were, like, quote, interested in the job. I'm just, I'm trying to think here, guys. Mike McCarty signs a five-year deal with the Dallas Cow Cowboys. Which is, you know, that's a pretty good deal. I, I, I got to know how much money is guaranteed. I did not read that. It doesn't really matter to me because money doesn't matter at the end of the day. Well, it, it, it matters for Mike McCarty because he had other great options that he could have done. Think, 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 about if, think, think about this if he would have went to the uh, Cleveland Browns with that talent roster that they have over there. They could have definitely have uh, done some things with Mike McCarty as their head coach slash GM. Mike McCarty is not going to get that GM role over here. He is going to have to answer to the Joneses. I mean, Stephen Jones is starting to, well, you know, right the chip a little bit, but Jerry still has his fingers in the pot. Sprinkle a little bit there. I sprinkle a little bit out there. And y'all, here we go. We got another eight next season and we missed the playoffs. Wow. So, breaking news, Mike, Mike McCarty has been hired as the uh, Dallas Cowboys coach. You know, I, I really, truly thought Lincoln, Lincoln Riley from Oklahoma was going to be that coach. I really did because, you, you, like, like, you heard his name pop up since about – when did they go on that four-game losing streak? It was, like, week six, I think, they finally broke that streak. Or, I mean, you know, like, 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 they, like they lost to the Jets and then – whoever else they lost to. I, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but Lincoln Riley's name kept coming up over and over and over a, 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 again. And the Dallas Cowboys do have a talented roster if it is used correctly, i.e. give the balls to Zeke 25 times. Bring people up in the box, get them to Mari Cooper over the top. Give them to a Randall Cobb over, like, over the top. Michael Gallup. He, he, he's, he's not the best third receiver ever, but he would fit this team pretty well, I like a thing. If utilized correctly. Man, I, I, I just can't wrap my head around this. West Coast offense with the power back. The reason, the ultimate reason why Aaron Rodgers was pissed off at Mike McCarty before he left was because of the non-evolution of the offense. They saw that what the Kansas City Chiefs were doing. They saw what the Rams were doing. They saw uh, whoever else. They saw people transpiring, or not transpiring, like ev evolving their offense. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. Ev evolving their offense, and they're still back in the 1980s. Yes, they were doing pretty good things, because Aaron Rodgers is probably the best quarterback in the league. He is the best quarterback in the league. Let's be honest. He's been doing it a lot longer and a lot better than Tom Brady, than Drew Brees, than Patrick Mahomes, etc. He, 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 he is just better. That's why Mike McCarty did not have to evolve the offense because of Aaron Rodgers. Now, what's going to happen when you have a quarterback like, De like Dak Prescott? Is Dak Prescott a good quarterback? The answer to that question is yes. He is a good quarterback. Is he a great quarterback? No. He is not a great quarterback whatsoever. With that being said... He is not going to be able to really run this West Coast offense the way that Aaron Rodgers did. Mike McCarty's got his hands full. He has his work cut out for him. Do they keep Dak Prescott as quarterback? Because his contract's due. 
I think they can franchise. A f I mean, they they can franchise tag him for two two years total. Do they do that? I don't know. NFL draft is coming up in April, and uh, some big news here. Uh, actually, we'll we'll get into that after the break. Like a just like a little bit. Let's let's just keep with the Cowboys here in this first seg seg segment segment. With the coaching staff that they're hiring right now, I question, is Mike McCarty hiring this staff or is the Joneses hiring this staff? Because I think if Mike McCarty can put his staff together, give him a year, maybe two, put his team together, get rid of Zeke, bring in a back that he wants, i.e. Kareem Hunt, or needs, i.e. Kareem Hunt. They can do okay with this roster. Will they do that? No. Joneses will not be satisfied with tanking for a year. I don't, I, I don't think the Dallas Cowboys fan base would be happy for tanking for a year. Matt, Matt, matter of fact, any let, let's jump into that real quick. If any fan base is okay with tanking in an NFL season, you are flat out. Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Stupid? Not rooting your for your team for the right reasons. I mean, we said it on yesterday's day show that the Buffalo Bills that they, they, they will be mediocrely good for the next ten to twelve years. The reason why they won't be good is because they, you know, they Josh Allen is just good enough to keep him in the, in the mid mid first mid first first round, meaning eight and eight, nine and seven, seven seven and nine. They will be pretty solid. They won't be a cakewalk by any means, but they'll they'll be solid. So, as a Buffalo Bills fan, would you root for a year of injury? Like Tom Brady, uh, you know, he had that fantastic year, and the next year he tore his ACL. Would you root for a year like that? You better not, because I hate people that root for injuries. I cannot stand you. But, guys, Dallas Cowboys right now are further away from the Super Bowl than the Cleveland Browns. The Dallas Cowboys are further away from the Super Bowl right now than the Cleveland Browns. Wrap your head around that. The Cleveland Browns that are like, oh, Super Bowl aspirations, they suck this year. My God, I cannot stand Cleveland Brown fans. We're going Super Bowl. Guys, you win like six games? Congratulations. You are, my memory serves me right, you guys do not have a winning season in this decade, this past decade, in the 10s. Congratulations, Super Bowl aspiration team. But that is hard to come off my tongue. Cleveland Browns have a better Super Bowl chance right now with Mike McCarty as their head coach than the Dallas Cowboys do with Mike McCarty as their head coach because of the running game. Chubb, Cream Hunt, you have a couple pretty good receivers over there. So let's just let's do the over under game here. Let's do Odell Beckham Jr. versus uh, Amari Cooper. Who would you rather have? Oh wait, OBJ in a, in a heartbeat. Landry Jones or Randall Cobb? Oh wait. Oh Landry Jones, good choice. Would you rather have Ezekiel Elliott or? Chubb. The answer is Zeke, right? But Zeke's not going to get the ball 20, 20, 25 times, is he? Nope. Can Zeke be a threat out of the coming out of the backfield as a passing game? No, not really. Kareem Hunt can. He showed it in Kansas City before he knocked the bitch out. <laughs> so Dallas Cowboys fans. I hate you guys for taking or wanting to tank, but you guys got to tank this year. It's just, it's just for the 2020. <clears throat> so guys, join me on the other side of the break. We got spring training coming up. We got some NFL draft talk coming up. All of that and much more right after this. And 
and welcome back, guys, for Just for Clicks. I am Michael Buckeyes, and this is live, raw, and uncut sports talk here on this beautiful Tuesday morning. We're about 7.15 here on the East Coast time. Hope everybody's having a great day. Get your day started right here on the sportstalkchannel.com. Fox Affiliates. Oh, man, I love it. But speaking of loving, baseball season is just right around the corner. Yes, we are thick of the NFL postseason. Basketball season hasn't really begun yet. Let's face it. Basketball season doesn't begin until about mid-January, early February. That's when basketball season really starts to ramp up. All that crap before November, December, October, pregame. Preseason, I should say. But guys, baseball season is about 30 days away. First day of spring training against February 12th, if I miss my memory serves me right. But let's get into the sports fact of the day. Forgot it yesterday. My fault. Sports fact of the day is baseball related. Even though baseball games usually last three plus hours, did you know that the actual playing time in baseball is less than 18 minutes per game? So actually, that's from the time the ball is pitched, hit, fielded, and thrown back to the pitcher. Less than 18 minutes in a three and a half hour span. <laughs> Wrap your head around that. America's past time is right because we are passing time as slow as molasses. Three and a half hours to sit in the stands, eating burgers, eating hot dogs, drinking beer, nachos, all that good stuff. Get to watch 18 minutes of playtime. <laughs> but that is your sports fact of the day. I got a little frog in my throat here this morning. But. Let's go ahead and jump into uh, some more breaking news from Monday afternoon, Monday night. Tua, the Alabama quarterback, has officially declared for the NFL draft. He is projected to go in the top 10 per Mel Kuyper Jr. Uh, later on, maybe this week, early next week, we'll get in my man Marcus the Sports Freak here on the show. And uh, let him give you guys his uh, first round mock draft. No, 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 no. We'll just give him the top 10. We'll give the top 10 mock draft from Marcus the Sports Freak here coming up. Like we were saying, Marcus Tua, uh, Marcus Tua, Tua from Alabama, the quarterback. I'm not even going to try to say his last name. I never could. I never will be able to. And I never can't because it's like uh, Taka Padola. I don't know. Whatever. He is declared for the NFL draft. He is projected to be a top 10 pick per ESPN's Mel Kuyper Jr. But uh, let me... Uh, Think about this here. What do you think? So, I mean, Tua is a top 10 prospect. Awesome. Right now, it's projected to go to the Miami Dolphins per Mel Kuyper. With that being said, Miami Dolphins, you guys don't really need a quarterback, do you? You got what's-his-face from Arizona last year. You have Fitz Magic. If you guys draft a quarterback, stupid. Complete, utter stupidness going on there with the Miami Dolphins. You guys... Best not draft a quarterback. So I, this got me looking uh, at the draft order here. You know, like your top five here, you got number one, Cincinnati, number two, Redskins, the three, the Detroit Lions, four, the Giants, five, the Miami Dolphins. All right. So obviously, Tua isn't going to, is is not the best quarterback coming out of, like, out of this class. I, I'm going to have to chalk that up to the Heisman Trophy winner, uh, Josh Barrow from LSU. Number two is the Oregon quarterback. His name always slips, slips, slips my mind. But if you guys have not seen this guy play, he is a man among boys right now over there in, at, in the Oregon Ducks uniform. So, uh, Burrow is going to go number one to Cincinnati. And then, this is where it gets interesting. The Redskins, do you guys need a quarterback? Do you want a quarterback? You have uh, uh, Case Keenum. You have Colt McCoy. Uh, then you have Dwayne Haskins. Are are they going to draft a quarterback, or where are they going to go? That 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 kind of sparks sparks my interest like a little bit because Dwayne Haskins did uh, end the season on the bench with the injury and the whole you know selfie incident where you know getting get that game winning touchdown. So I don't think he'll go there. I think the uh, I think the Redskins are sold on Haskins right now. Um, the people that weren't have been fired and let go. See you later. You go. Number three, Detroit Lions. Now, this kind of makes me want to circle it a little bit. Stafford is 
getting up there in age, you know, 33, 34 years old. I'm not for sure exactly how old he is, but he's he's in his 30s, injury prone. Do the Detroit Lions draft a quarterback from Oregon or Tua to put him on the back burner like the Green Bay Packers do with Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre? Meh, pretty good idea, right? Detroit, I, I really thought the Detroit Lions were going to be better this year. I thought they were going to battle for the division, which they they kind of did in the end. They, they came on a little late. But they really need tailback, so I'm not for sure if I'm – it's it's like it like it like it like it's weird there. Number four, the Giants. They got Daniel Jones. They're not going to draft a cool, cool quarterback. And if they do, they're dumb. Well, they're dumb for keeping Eli for a lot, as long as they have. <clears throat> so makes you start to wonder. At ten, you got the Browns. Twelve, you got the Raiders. Number fourteen, you got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Does Tua drop all the way down to 14? If you are a quarterback coming from Alabama, injury prone, maybe that's why he's coming out because he's such he, because because he, he is injury prone. A couple years ago, he had that ankle injury in the uh, national championship game, or the actually that SEC championship game. I think uh, I think it was <clears throat> hurt his ankle again this year. Came back from that, and then and then he what broke his hip or something, right? Or dislocated his his uh, his uh, hip. Injury prone too is going to go to the NFL, make millions of dollars, and not even want to play it down. <clears throat> Reminds me of that Ohio State basketball player. What's his name? Man, can't think of a name right now. But he went to the Blazers, you know. Played for three games. Big toe injury or something like that. But guys, I, I can I mean two is a good talent. I'm not going to take take that away from 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 the from from the kid. I'm not going to take it away. But he is not going top 10 in the draft. You have two quarterbacks above him. You have Burrow and you have the Oregon Ducks quarter, quarterback that are better than him, I think. If he goes to the top 10, it is, it is not going to be one of those top 10 teams that are, that, are, that are in there. It's not going to be. Somebody in the middle round is going to jump up and get him. Do the Raiders jump up and get him? They need a cool quarterback. David Carr is not the answer, I don't think, and uh, John Gruden does not like him. What better way to get a uh, nice, fresh quarterback there? Open up that new stadium in Las Vegas. That'd be nice. Do, do, do the Indianapolis Colts try to jump up there? I mean, we talked about this yesterday. Jacoby Brissett really isn't the answer there, right? Who else needs a quarterback? The Patriots? Do they jump up and take a quarterback in the first round, or do they, you know, just just let it simmer and see if they drop if he drops down? Who knows? But guys, join me tomorrow, same time, same same location, all the good stuff. We're gonna have to try to have my man Marcus on. We're gonna give you guys a mock draft, top ten, just for clicks. Michael Buckheiser. We out.